headlinesindia.com on 14th October 2008 with me, Kriti. Film projects worth at least rupees 100 crore are riding on megastar Amitabh Bachchan who was admitted to a hospital after he complained of severe abdominal pain on his 66th birthday. Bollywood was turned to hear of Bachchan's sudden illness who was shooting for Leena Yadav's Teen Patti, a rupees 25 crore film at different locations in Mumbai till Friday. He has also completed shooting for Sujoy Ghor's Aladdin, a rupees 35 crore film starring Ritesh Deshmukh and Sanjay Dutt in which he plays the role of a genie. Also there is Shoe Bite which is half complete. Apart from these there are few more movies which have already been announced with Bachchan in the cast. They include Time Machine, Pocket Mar, Aakhe Part 2, Bhairavi, Komagata Maru, Struggler, Talisman and his home production The Legend of Kunal. For director Madhur Bhandarkar, three-time national awardee whose ambitious film fashion is releasing this month and winning an Oscar matters a little. The director says that he has no objection if his films are selected by the jury for Oscar but he is not ready to be a part of the hype and attention that surrounds these awards in India. Fashion is about the emotional journey of a model played by Priyanka Chopra. This film is going to be a landmark in Priyanka's acting career. She has never before played a character with such substance. Bhandarkar's national award winning films like Chandiwar in 2001, Page 3 in 2005 and Traffic Signal in 2007 are famous for their strong storylines and often have a female protagonist as lead characters. After playing the hassled mother in Tare Zameen where actress Tiska Chopra now wants to play a terrorist, an adventurous housewife and even former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi, Tiska is more keen on working with known directors than actors. The actress was recently in the town to launch Zoom Channel's new bi-weekly show Bollywood Case Files which she will be anchoring. The actress folded into Bollywood in 1993 with box office dud platform. It was followed by other flops like 15th August, Bali Umar Salam and Takdeer Wala. When she didn't get her due in Bollywood, Diska took a sabbatical from the big screen during which she was involved with theatre and did plays like Mahatma vs Gandhi, Salesman Ramlal and Inshallah before shifting to TV with Balaj telefilms like Kahani Ghar Ghar Ki that gave her recognition. Recently, she came into limelight with Tare Zameen Par for which she also received a nomination in the Best Actor in a Supporting Role Female category at the 53rd Annual Filmfare Awards. Moving on, after delivering an array of hits, Bollywood's current reigning queen Katrina Kaif has signed a two-film deal with production house UTV that has hits like Rang De Basanti, Khosla Ka Ghosla and Jota Akbar to its credit. The two films to be released within two years will be Katrina's first projects with the production house and she is very excited about the deal. The actress' popularity climbed a notch with the success of her Akshay Kumar star film Singh is King. She is also considered a lucky mascot for producers. After painting, sculptures and installations, it is now the turn of gemstone sculptures to go the auction way. Mumbai-based art and jewelry house Ma Passion is gearing up to hold an auction of sculptures of precious and semi-precious stones with the hope of reviving the ancient craft of gemstone, carving said to have been handed down from the Mughals to the traditional Kumawal community in Jaipur. Curated by art expert and author Nisha Jambal, the auction later this month would include 55 lots of handcuffs, Statues including among others are Emperor Ganesha with 1000 mice, a crystal Buddha under the Bodhi tree and several nature based themes such as fishes and a group of flying horses. Well it's time to wrap up the show but I promise to be back tomorrow with some more news from the entertainment world till then take care and keep logging our website at linesindia.com.